Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Ayer. Today, Delhi R Rajagopalanji, also known as Scoop Raja, joins me, and we're going to talk about perhaps three or even more. So first, let's welcome our guest of the day, Sri R Rajagopalan. Namaskaram, sir. How are you? Fine, thank you. Namaskarams to P Guru viewers. I have a rain of scoops today, sir, and mini scoop. Today, we want to introduce a mini scoop for our viewers. Only one point, Mr. Iyer, whether you like it or not, you are today black and white. Why, sir? Why you are sir, black and I, white? Sir, I was trying to recapture how life was for us growing up about 40, 45 years ago. The whole <laughs> life was black and white. Movies were black and white. Everything around us was black and white. And 1982, when India hosted Asian Games, that's when everything changed. Color TV came into India's bedrooms, TV rooms. And, and the whole life was in full of bright colors. That was what I was trying to indicate. Viewers, if you like my backdrop, please put in a word on the comment section. First of all, please like this video if you could. And let's go and jump right in. Sir, what has been India's James Bond up to lately, sir? James Bond? Who is that James Bond, sir? Narendra Modi. <laughs> no, he goes by the name of A.D. His initials are... Achata, my name is A.D. 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 Ajit Doval. Okay, okay. Yes. Uh, pronouns to our viewers. Today, what we are, uh, you know, planning, my, at least I have one or two interesting things, sir. Let us come straight to the point, sir. Instead of booting around the bush, there yes, is sir. a top secret report with the Prime Minister office. That is prepared by Mr. Ajit Doval after you know collection, collation, review, analysis, everything. Before you give to the Prime Minister, it's a capsule, some eight nine points in uh, some twenty pages notes, and that eight by nine points will be elaborated in the annexings uh, annexures. That is how the top secret reports are prepared by the NSC Ajit Doval for the Prime Minister's eyes only. Today, I caught hold of uh, a very interesting details which was prepared 10 days ago. Today, we want to blame it on Prime Minister Narendra Modi. We want to charge Mr. Amit Shah. We want to ensure that Ajit Doval is brought to some sort of, uh, you know, uh, responsibility. Sir, he build up is a, too much. Build up is no, too much. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Pre because they prepared the uh, dossier in such a way about Mr. Rahul Gandhi's 248 foreign visits. The foreign joints of Mr. Rahul Gandhi, whether he did Upasana or Tapasya or Vipassana, God knows it. But that... <laughs> but that uh, Just Asana contains, also. <laughs> uh, asana, Asana. And that report contains very sensitive information about three aspects. Sir. And why government is sitting on that? When Rahul Gandhi goes abroad and talks about India as no democracy, Vagera, the government knew about it, but still sitting on it. That is why why Mr. the road roller majority, Mr. Narendra Modi has, but still uh, he is uh, you know toying with the idea whether to go for. But uh, Kiran Rijuju, the Union Law Minister, on the floor of Lok Sabha, said that government has got reports about Mr. Rahul Gandhi's foreign visits. It can be described in three parts, sir. One is political. His visit is political. Especially after his uh, London speech, Cambridge, uh, uh, you know, confusion he created in Cambridge about Indian democracy. Since then, the government is toying with that idea of releasing it, not releasing it. Yes, we release it. Yes, we do not release it like that. But they dropped a hint in the Lok Sabha they, last week during the discussion by Kiran Rijiju. Now, Will Rahul yes, Gandhi take responsibility of meeting two or three important persons who are, you know, uh, not in tune with Indians, Indian foreign policy, India's defense policy, India's, you know, uh, security aspects? Why should Mr. Rahul Gandhi go abroad and meet people of opposition leaders of those countries? India has got evidence, Indian government system, the security apparatus have collected video evidence, audio evidence, documentary evidence on Mr. Rahul Gandhi's meeting three sensitive personalities in a foreign soil. And another thing which I found out from that report is Mr. Rahul Gandhi goes up to Dubai. 
from there he branches off and one industrial industrialist son who is based in london he comes to dubai and takes him in his special chartered aircraft therefore you do not know where he, they land but indian does it, government that this it, indian industrialist name start with h and end with a no no so l and l it starts with l and it ends with n l okay and that so is the story so he coming to the point mr narendra modi the prime minister sir, is, of india is, is it the name of shakti sir one of the names of shakti like yes yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. okay got it yes, got it yes, users yes, yes, users yes, yes. you guys can put the comment now you've got the right hint okay yes 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 yes, yes. yes. and you know that l and l has a great, great love for mr rahul gandhi's blabbering <laughs> Now we end this, sir. sir. We go to other scoops, sir. My sir, one second, sir. One we... second, sir, sir. Sir, before we go to the other scoop, remember, viewers, a few episodes ago, with uh, Sri Rajagopalanji, I had mentioned that at the time Rahul Gandhi was in London, George Soros's wife was also in London, and and I told you, I don't know if they were on the same conference or not. Now comes the confirmation that they were both attending the same conference. So. Well, we, we are we are getting a little bit more, a little bit closer to the truth here. So that but is the other very, data. But very interesting, sir. sir. Why the government is sitting on that report, sir? Why they should sir, come sir, out? Go, sir, Rahul I, Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, you know, uh, gives galis to government, and what kind of pickpocket kar raha government? He tells so Malikajan Karke says government is pickpocketing, but now having got that uh, report in your pocket. Why don't you release it? The, we must campaign that Mr. Rahul Gandhi's Warren Jones report should be, you know, publicized by external intelligence wing of Indian government, RAW Research and Analysis Wing, an internal wing of uh, India security apparatus called the Intelligence Bureau. These two have got huge amount of documents. Why can't they release it? Now today, Mr. Rahul Gandhi has done a U-turn, sir. He is going to Surat court and appealing against the disqualification. Why should the who have buha bura ha during this one week time? He should have quietly. There are two examples today for our viewers. I want to example give two specimens. One, Mr. Muhammad Faisal, the NCP member of Parliament from Andaman Nicobar Islands. He was elected on certain grounds. He was disqualified. He went. I to, think that is Lakshadweep, sir. Sir, it's sorry, sir, sorry, 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 yeah. Lakshadweep. My, my, my. I go more older. No, no. So I slip out. Sorry, my, I'm, my apologies. I'm right behind you, sir. I make these mistakes yes, too. I'm right okay, behind sir. you. <laughs> <laughs> so this Lakshadweep MP approached Kerala High Court quietly, without others knowing. It was only page four story, page five story, or page six story, and he got relief. But our great leader, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, tore out the ordinance, and the same ordinance, you know, uh, when you get uh, a good auspicious from pandits, when you prostrate before them, they throw some yellow, uh, you know, sprinkles of lies on, uh, you know, rice on your head, you know, ashirvadam. So that type of ashirvadam, when they do ashirvadam, they say the pandits, they say. Satamanam Bhavati Sata Ayukrasha Satendriya Ayushevendri Pradidish Sati Sojimor Ojamana Sovana Sovana Kalyana Mundavati Abdila Jolu too. Like that, no, they go like that. But the same uh, Faisal got Akshadai uh, on his head. The government of uh, Kerala, this, the court of Kerala gave relief, High Court. But our great friend who got Akshadai on his own, there is a proverb in Tamil, Yanitan Kayal Manne Varikodu Talel Podum. The the elephant drags certain amount of you know uh, but, under his but, feet, under his feet, but, but and it throws around his head to chill. Like that, Rahul Gandhi tore out the ordinance and also gone to uh, resign and surrendered the house. Why in, the, in a half? Why do you re return the house? You have been allotted and you have been given one month's time. Similarly, you, in one month's time, you go for an appeal. But why do you do a U-turn and make a lot of, you know, he said, Main hawa nikal dunga tera. He told the journalist, Abhi khud aapka hawa nikala hua hai That is why you are going on U-turn. If you are a straight person, no bail, straight go jail. But today they turned it.
So now coming to the third scoop of our conversation today. Uh, why Shinwa Jayaprakash is saying Lakshmi Mittarsan? I did not mention that name, sir. No, sir. He is just guessing, sir. That's all. No, no. Wrong guess. Wrong guess. Sir, sir, you said, you said L and L. <laughs> And then you See, said no, the son it, of it, L and L. I said love and love. I did not say L and L. <laughs> L starts with love, L starts with ends with love and you know legendary. <laughs> yeah. So, so now, now so Srinivas Jay Prakash, the more uh, Rajagopalan says no, it means okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, today we are in a very jovial mood, sir. Achha, now <laughs> our viewers are very happy. Now, the yes. third important scoop is the foreign uh, angle of uh, Mr. Narendra Modi's visits. Today, we take a, 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 a comparison of Mr. Narendra Modi's in, uh, you know, within India, his foreign you know, visits, outside India, his visits. Today, we uh, review the schedule of Mr. Narendra Modi, how hectic it is. I want to illustrate with few examples. On 8th morning, Prime Minister leaves for Hyderabad. 8th April, another five days from today. Today we are on Monday. 8th April, he leaves for Hyderabad. From there, he goes to Chennai. From Chennai, he stays to Mudumalai Forest, where that, you know, elephant, he wants to see that elephant, where that, you know, elephant, uh, that uh, Oscar, uh, the winners are going to give him a reception in uh, Mudumalai. From elephant there, he, movie. Yeah. Elephant yeah. whispers. From there, he goes to Bangalore. So, it is his hectic schedule. 48 hours, 4 hops and, you know, 18 programs. This is how his tight schedule works out at this age, advanced age. He is working in such a way, we have to give a hats off to him. Now, come to the point of foreign visits. You know, Mr. Joe Biden, you are President Potas, President of US, the lame duck President of United States of America. He is flying, had gone to uh, Ukraine and met people. And at the same time, Chinese president met uh, uh, Mr. Vladimir Putin. This is all certain international formulation. But the scoop which I am sharing with P. Guru viewers is May 24th, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is meeting Mr. Joe Biden in Sydney, Australia capital. One to one meeting. They are going to bring out a peace formula, which Mr. Modi collected from Russian side, Mr. Joe Biden collected from US and other sides, and Ukraine even side. some sorry, sorry, Ukraine side. So they want to merge it and bring out some peace formula, which is going to be worked out. I see an end of the Ukraine war after June or July. Something is working out, sir, behind the scenes, and even in that, Mr. NSC Ajit Doval is busy with that. Indian Foreign Mission Minister, Mr. Jay Shankar, and the embassies or high commissions are activated. Something is brewing behind the scene. Prime Minister is also visiting France. Coming to the point, sir, Prime Minister's visit to France is very, very important, sir. My understanding is that when he meets, Prime Minister meets Joe Biden, what are the things they are going to discuss? Why Prime Minister is in Sydney? The reason is, Prime Minister is going to attend that Quad meeting, sir. Quad meeting where Japanese Prime Minister is also joining and US President, Australian Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, Indian Prime Minister, this four. Again, it is a focus on China. And second thing, very interestingly, July 14th, France has invited Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi to visit Paris as a guest at the annual Bastille Day Parade in July. The, I, I got the confirmation at the visit, which will be you know, added to Mr. Modi's already packed diplomatic calendar. The, the, the Prime Minister diplomatic calendar is full till January, February, because he is the president of G20. That is the irritation Mr. Rahul Gandhi has got against Mr. Narendra Modi. How can this man become Vishwa Guru? Oh, punch him, go and talk in. Uh, London about some few things coming to the back point, sir. The diplomatic calendar is likely to, you know, is very uh, tight schedule. July 14, the Prime Minister and the French President, Mr. Macron, are expected to discuss a number of major agreements, including those of Indo-Pacific region, nuclear power and defense, 
as two countries, you know, mark 25th year of the strategy partnership. So this type of, you know, interesting details I have, the, uh, please, our viewers should also analyze this one by one by one by one. Today, we have given a, 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 a package of inputs with a capsule form. You need not read newspapers. Please listen to this debate with Mr. Iyer and myself. You understand the Indian politics, the international politics, etc. Now, scope number three. Sir, one Congress second, sir. Uh, before you go, yes. sir, 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 one yes. second, sir. Before you go to the next scope, a clarification, viewers. Sydney is not the capital of Australia. Canberra is the capital. Know, Sydney know, is one of the know. more important cities. No, you said. I, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. My son lives yeah. in Sydney for ten years, and I know it's Sydney. My mistake, because yeah. you know Canberra is the capital. Sydney yes, is Bombay yes. to Australia, sir. It's a financial. Correct. Capital. Correct. That's true. That's absolutely true. Go ahead, sir. And financial why they capital. chose? Yes. And why they chose Sydney? There is a mm. question mark in that, because mm. the Prime Minister of Australia, Mr. Albanese, elected from Marrickville, the Sydney. He wants to take copied, you know, it's a you know patented uh, copy of international leaders. They copy from Narendra Modi. Mr. Narendra Modi always takes Mr. Albanese to Gujarat. So now it is Gujarat turn, that is Modi's turn to visit Albanese uh, parliament constituency. If you remember, Narendra Modi does not allow any foreign dignity to land in Delhi. He says he takes them out of Delhi so that that particular region develops. For example, the Chinese president went to uh, Mahabalipuram. Mahabalipuram. Mahabalipuram, right. There you see an international chess conference, Chennai. Why should Narendra Modi hold uh, Abe, uh, the Japanese prime ministers, stay in uh, Sabarmati Ashram and also in Varanasi? So the regional you know, developments, that is how he says aspirational uh, people will have aspirational you know, facilities. So, Mr. Albanese copying from Mr. Narendra Modi, since Albanese was taken to Ahmedabad Stadium for cricket match, first he landed in Ahmedabad only from uh, uh, Canberra. Similarly, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will go to Sydney, the parliament constituency of Mr. Anthony Albanese, that is called Mariquil. In, in Sydney, that's a parliament constituency. Now, coming to the point, uh, third scoop you wanted to know from me third scoop is very sensational scoop sir i will little hype it now i don't want to open it up with with, with our viewers should have a nail biting sensation little bit let them keep for one or two minutes build up you are giving build up build, build up build up build up 482000 crores corruption congress files bjp has started a war digital war against congress a three-minute film has been, you know, re released by BJP officially yesterday. Of course, it must have been the, uh, you know, clear got the clearance from the top sources. That is Narendra Modi, Amit Shah, and uh, uh, Nanda. This Trayvere, this Tin Murthy, they go minutely to everyone, sir. My understanding from the BJP sources or that. It's going to be some 25 to 30 videos of three minutes each. Congress is doing a, a, a senseless videos that does not carry uh, any uh, foothold in the uh, viewers' uh, uh, mindsets. But Narendra Modi's concept and BJP's concept, what Ms. Narendra Modi spoke at the BJP's, uh, you know, uh, inauguration of BJP building in Delhi last week, the same thing has been captured in captured in a video format. The heading itself is four eight double zero double zero double zero triple zero double zero double zero. That means four lakh eighty two thousand crores. All numericals one by one by one by one. It has been directed and uh, shot very well by the video uh, team of Mr. Uh, Amit Shah's uh, BJP. So the second theme is going to be on 2G. They want to take every regional parties, even your own state, uh, Hyderabad, KCR, your good friend K. Chandrasekhar Rao's Bharatiya ba Rashtriya Samiti. <laughs> Everyone is my good friend, sir. I've never of met any yes. of these gentlemen. <laughs> sir, sir, you, 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 
తెలుగు బాగా వచ్చింది సార్ యూ ఆర్ ఫ్రమ్ హైదరాబాద్ సో దట్ ఫోర్ మై మై పాయింట్ ఈస్ కేసీఆర్ డాటర్ కవిత ఈస్ ఆల్సో గోయింగ్ టు బీ ఫీచరింగ్ ఇన్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద వీడియోస్ ఇన్ ది నెక్స్ట్ మంత్స్ టు నెక్స్ట్ టూ ఆర్ త్రీ మంత్స్ దే ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు బంబార్డ్ విత్ వీడియోస్ దిస్ ఆల్ మై స్కూప్ సార్ నౌ యూ ఆస్క్ మీ ఎనీ క్వశ్చన్ ఐ విల్ ఆన్సర్ సార్ అండ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ గాట్ సమ్ two or three mini scoops which i have you know uh, i will recollect and uh, speak it out as we travel sir yes indeed i will ask you first of all i want to tell our viewers something very interesting today i was at sri rama kalyanam which is sita rama kalyanam and i was asked to do something and i did that part but the overarching uh, encomiums i got was for the programs that i have with sri rajagopalan ji they said everyone to a person they said we love you are hang outs with sri rajagopalan ji and and sir it is you are making it interesting the news that is supposed to be you know this much we make it a little bit more we add a little bit of flavor and color to it ice cream sometimes of course and it makes it all the more interesting they <laughs> need so uh, they saw our luck and i pray my you know my pay my respects to all those friends who told you apart from that my understanding of journalism is to give the news as it develops yes in my 40 years of journalistic career sir i rattled the system as a print medium visual medium and also thanks to uh, uh, arunab goswami navika kumar and others including pranay roy who gave me some sort of space from 95 to 2023 i have been holding so i am a connect between print web television now this youtube hangouts so i take pride in saying she i have given a new model of journalism to you is mojo mobile journalism not is not mojo mojo journalism yojo journalism youtube journalism so you don't read newspapers just just simply hear me and i hear and we debate you get a juicy story like you know you peel out the you know orange skin and take it like that the slices soleyoda saapidunga in tamil that's what they say <laughs> sir i so can now, i can see the hashtag we got mojo <laughs> we got yojo yojo youtube journalism yojo yo <laughs> yojo yojo acha now sir, now yeah. let, one, one scoop let now one we, one scoop let we, we'll take yes we yeah take i have three questions, questions only yeah and and uh, and uh, i i speak out some five six important uh, developments in delhi and in india which will be useful for you know those who are listening this hangout in other countries foreign soil yeah so uh, srinivas jay prakash wants to know will kachchu tivu be reclaimed by 2024 what is the current status will the reclamation bring bjp votes in tamil nadu srinivas jay prakash you have been watching our hangouts it is mr ayer and me broke out that you know hamman tota the yn uh, special ship of china's intelligence ship spy ship birthed in hamman tota hamman tota in tamil they say is in hamman tota in english to parallel that china was developing jaffna as a hong kong of 2050 2060 like that they were planning a larger amount of you know foresightedness china had india got to know that and india is pressurizing the sri lankan government next month probably by end of april or first week of may mr ranil vikramasinghe is coming to india to meet mr narendra modi and mr ajit doval again our james bond today our ajit doval will be our focus sir ajit doval had a three rounds of discussion with sri lankan authorities to take kachatheevu to reclaim it and even in parliament if you remember mr jay shankar said dmk and the congress taravath kodutanga they gave kachatheevu a away. silver platter gave it away yeah gave it away so therefore they may the bjp may take it back from uh, uh, sri lankan government the behind the scenes uh, or a very active the activities of mr ajit doval you have to watch out but he goes very secret and we do not know how to catch him so mr sinovas jayaprakash yes there is a forward movement we do not know how it will get succeed you know how it will get success next question sir from stone 420 why has the minister of external affairs not given a statement that india is closely monitoring the democratic process in india in relation to trump like they said about india tit for tat 
No, in diplomacy, tit for tat never works. Stone 420 because in diplomacy, either it is 419 or 421, not 420. <laughs> 420 is Indian Penal Code. The 419 is very. If you see any diplomat, sir, in my experience from A.P. Venkateswaran, Ramesh Bandari, Maharaja Krishna Rasgotra, uh, you know, tall, even uh, L.K. Jaw, even for that matter, K.S. Vajpayee, even Amit Ansari was a very senior uh, diplomat. They don't commit. They, uh, you know, like a uh, you know, uh, lady finger sabji vendaka. You know, it's very, <laughs> uh, very, you know, slippery. slippery the diplomats slippery. are always slippery. They don't commit. But Mr. Jay Shankar has been very focused on certain issues. Yes, the Trump issue, India is monitoring. They don't comment because of certain reasons. There are diplomatic reasons to that. We are waiting for certain major action on Ukraine. Till then, we won't spoil, we won't tilt the apple cart. Um, Stone 420, I want to just add to what Rajagopalanji said. What India is practicing is mature diplomacy. Okay, if you remember, go back to Mahathir Muhammad. Okay, all sorts of nonsense he was spewing. This, that, for two, three months, India said nothing. Then suddenly the bombshell, we are going to stop importing palm oil from you. Yeah, Bang! Yeah. Two weeks later, Mahathir is out. See, that is what you want to do. <laughs> you let your actions speak. I'm not saying that, you know, Biden is going to be out of his job today here. But what I'm trying to say is what India is practicing is a mature form of democracy. I'll give you another example. The UK building, that is the Indian consulate in UK, this is not the first time it has been vandalized or attacked. Yes, yes, yes. They've been doing it many times. And India has told them, do you need to do better action? And the British were, you know, saying they were helpless. The Metropolitan Police has to take care. Metropolitan Police is under, it's become Londonistan now. They don't want to do it. So what happened? They were doing nothing. Then what happened? India just withdrew their police outside, security outside. The next day, 100 policemen, they were like, all over the place, making sure that the protesters were peaceful. Even then, there were some uh, small scuffles here and there. But by and large, by and large, that went off peacefully. By the way, that thing is going to come to a logical conclusion very soon. Stay tuned. I'm going to give you some updates about what is happening in the United States shortly. I want to make sure before I, you know, I want to count my... Uh, you know, uh, ch uh, chicken before I have, you know, count my eggs before they hatch. So just <laughs> bear with me. I'll give you some information. Next question, sir. I know Jagan votes Modi's way, but Modi ji being India first, how can he let Jagan totally destroy Andhra and run it like a CCP dictator? Yesterday, YSR goons even ran amok at Sai Baba Adobe. Abode, abode. About, about. You know, by, there is a problem with Mr. Jagan Reddy. He's being fine tuned. Mr. Sohn 20, we wait for uh, Mr. Amit Shah's intervention. He is in touch with uh, Jagan Reddy. In India, sir, very interesting thing. Very, very interesting thing. There are two tall personalities in Indian politics. The regional satraps get rattled with the two names. One is Modi, another is Amit Shah. Of late, Amit Shah. Mr. Because Narendra Modi now turns like, you know, Vajpayee. He is very you know, stylish. He's also aging and taking another avatar of Vajpayee. But Amit Shah is definitely breaking like, uh, you know, uh, oh my God, you can't imagine, you can't imagine. Yeah, 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 yeah. In a serious uh, note, Amit Shah rattles. Yesterday he was in Bihar. Nitish Kumar is, uh, I, I should not use the word, his, uh, his uh, underwears are getting wet. <laughs> Arindam Ghatak wants to know, Sir, Modi ji takes foreign dignitaries to different parts of India, including West Bengal, Bihar and Jharkhand. But these regions have been on the decline since independence. What can we do? I mean, we are, Modi is trying his level best. He has revived Northeast, all of Northeast. He has, elect, uh, you know, he has got roads there. He has got train lines now from Tripura, Agartala, you can use broad gauge. That means from Agartala, you can have an express train going all the way up to Delhi or all the way up to Kanyakumari. All these things are made possible only now. Can you believe that? We take so many things for granted. Go ahead, sir. No, before we conclude, because we are crossing our time limit and uh, YouTube should not get disconnected because our time frame is fixed on the YouTube. Before that, I would like to finish with uh, five mini scoops.
Yes, that sir. Is, yes, sir. And before that, I would like to say, you know, drivers, scavengers, uh, those who are, you know, snake charmers, these are all the voting pattern. Mr. Narendra Modi is, you know, targeting these type of uh, audiences. For example, drivers. Sir, I traveled at least in six or seven states during the one past one year. And I met at least um, uh, 15 drivers. Sir. All of them are very uh, uh, heavy uh, load drivers. In the sense, they truck, they do 1,000 kilometers in one stretch. They all have a, a you know, hats off syndrome to Mr. Narendra Modi. He said the only one government which gave us roads, best roads, Delhi to Meerut. The Delhi to Meerut, you can go in 75 minutes. Thanks to Mr. Nitin Gadgari and to Mr. Narendra Modi and the two National Highway Authorities of India. Salute to the uh, engineers. Salute to the you know uh, laborers, those who laid the road. In two years, they laid the road. And moreover, RRTS, that is another monorail type of small system from uh, capital to another capital. Delhi to Meerut, there is a train being introduced, sir. Fast train, 80 kilometers, 90 kilometers. This stops only at four stations. In 30 minutes, you are in Meerut. Similarly, Delhi, uh, Mumbai, Chennai, uh, Bengaluru, Chennai, Trivandrum, Chennai, Vijayawada, like that, you know. So, my understanding is Mr. Narendra Modi has gone much nearer to the drivers. And, you know, he gave Padma Shri to snake charmers. In his monkey bath, next month, it is, this month it is going to be 100th year, centenary monkey bath. 100 months, Prime Minister spoke to the Indian citizens. 140 crore Indians heard Mr. Narendra Modi 100 months. To, this month is going to be very uh, special finale show in the sense 100 uh, uh, episode. He has spoken to 82 times for South Indian audience, sir. And you spoke about Northeast. Now the BJP policies look South policy. Telangana first, Tamil Nadu next. So Tamil Nadu bar bar kyun jara Prime Minister. Now I come to the you know scoop, uh, mini mini scoops. Amit Shah's two days visit to uh, uh, Bihar that rattled uh, the Nitish Kumar. And second thing, RSS has endorsed the Aligarh Muslim University's vice chancellor to be nominated as member of assembly, no member of legislative council in Uttar Pradesh. And Mr. Yogi Adityanath recommended it. Anandi Ben Patel may endorse it. And second thing, a new turn of politics in Uttar Pradesh. Why six nominations in the MLC controversy? Why Nupendra Mishra's son, this Ram Janmabhumi, Janmabhumi Supreme Court appointed committee, Nupendra Mishra is the chairman of Ram Janmabhumi Committee, which we are opening up in the month of September or October. His son, Saket Mishra, a retired IS officer, is being nominated. Second important thing, sir, very, very interesting thing is why that Politburo member from Andhra Pradesh, B.V. Ragolu, resigned from the uh, Politburo of Communist Party Marxists. Does he have a uh, personal animosity with uh, Sitaram Yachuri or with the local people? There is no Communist Party in India, but even if it existed, it has internal rivalry, sir. And most important scoop is, Deva Gowda says, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, set your house in order. Don't come to Karnataka. Oh, my God. Mr. Deva Gowda is roaring like anything. Mm -hmm. And the other one is, next week in Delhi, the... Uh, election commission is meeting and coming to a, a conclusion and sending show cause notices to eight major regional parties. They claim that they are nationalist parties. Can your status as national party be done away with? That is Bahujan Samaj Party, Nationalist Congress Party of Sharad Pawar, Bahujan Samaj Party of uh, uh, Mayavati. Mayavati. Mayavati and Trinamool Congress of Mercurial Mamtha Banerjee. What a big defeat for, you know, sit back for Mr. Sitara Mechuri. His party is also under the scanner of election commission. So we wait and watch. It's going to be an interesting thing, sir. And today, as we speak, our Tamil Nadu Chief Minister, Honorable M.K. Stalin, is having an, a, you know, video conferences with all national leaders 
on social uh, justice. He held a conference for NEET. None of them replied, but now social justice. Social justice, the another avatar of Narendra Modi is Sapka Sat, Sapka Vikas, Sapka Vishwa, Sapka Priyas. Now he comes suddenly with, but Mr. M.K. Stalin does not know that Narendra Modi is Basmasur before uh, the social justice movement in Tamil Nadu. The final one is, for the first time, India has, you know, topped sending women, 4,500 women devotees have gone to Mecca this time, sir. That's a finale. That's a big reforms Mr. Narendra Modi has brought. That's so awesome, sir. Time that time. women women get to go to Mecca. That is awesome. That is very, very good and news, 4, 000, sir. 3, uh, 5, 4, 4, I have the name, sir. I have the list prepared by even our, uh, you know, viewers can go to minorities ministry and get this list checked, sir. I have the numbers also. It's not how I'm a neighbor like Rahul Gandhi. I speak with evidence. That's very, very interesting. And that's very good news and very welcome news. That means a modernity. Sir, I will give you a new story. Sir, sir. That is why Narendra Modi won um, Uttar Pradesh. Sir. Many do not know. Narendra Modi won Uttar Pradesh after big analysis. I have been in Times Now election analysis you know, uh, debates for the last uh, 10 years. My summary of how Mr. Narendra Modi won Uttar Pradesh second time, Yogi Adityanath won. One district, one product. That scheme has shot like any shot up like anything in the world market, sir. For example, Varanasi Sari, Banaras Sari. You won't believe after that the Muslims have got more, uh, you know, Philip in their uh, more reserve in their fund savings fund. Second, triple talaq. Third, these 4,300, 4,500 women, at least 600 rods from, uh, from Uttar Pradesh, 300 from uh, Bihar. That is why Narendra Modi goes very methodical. That is why he says, Sapka Saad, Sapka Vikas. These people do not understand what is going to be their you know, 2024 results. See, they, Mr. Narendra Modi will come with at least 356, thumping majority. Wait and watch. These are all certain developed report card. Whether Narendra Modi gives or not, P. P. Guru, C. Iyer, and Raju Gopal already given it. Yes, yes, indeed, yes, indeed. Uh, Raju Gopal and I also heard that very soon, very soon, in Saudi Arabia's textbooks, they are going to add Ramayana as one of the reading books. Change, change, change is happening. Change is happening. Yes, yes, yes. Change is and why? When Israel can speak to uh, UAE and Israel can talk to Palestinians, so these things can also happen, you know. That is what yes, the indeed. modern India, Mr. Narendra Modi, is uh, dreaming of. Narendra Modi dreaming dreams of modern India and new India is not that building structures, 24 manjil, uh, Pandra story building, 25 manjil story. No, it's not that. Narendra Modi theme is uplift. Three crore Indian women from you know open you know defacing defecation, get yeah. def defecation sorry by by building them a proper toilets that is what new India is and digitalization you know with this mobile phone you can transact world over I can send you money you can send me money through Google Pay and other things. This is the big, biggest advantage of uh, Mr. Narendra Modi's digitalization. Um, viewers, I would like you to watch my interview with uh, Sri Shantanu Gupta, who wrote the book, who the monk who became chief minister and also the monk who transformed UP. In his latest interview with me, he talked about this real problem. I mean, this was one of the biggest points on which UP re-elected uh, Yogi Adityanath. You, if you just understand, you listen to that uh, interview conversation, Shantanu Gupta walks us through the kind of problems rural women used to face. Heartbreaking, guys. We take so many things for granted. You know, five minutes, if the electricity is not there, we are complaining. They didn't even have a toilet. So, and they can't do it during daytime. See, I, I can tell you, this was something else. And it was a real eye-opener for me. Viewers, do watch that. Uh, Radha Gopalanji, if we are done, then we can, we can sing Mangalam, sir. 
Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> in 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 Vaishnavic style, and even in you know Kavita, Kikasimma, Kalyan, Gunasalini, Simate, Venkri, Sai Vedanta, Gorave, Nama. So we end with the Janaganam and like that. <laughs> <laughs> Viewers, thank you so much for watching and please spread this video. We want to keep this format. In fact, we are going to bring this thing into Tamil also. Very interactive, very funny, at the same time, very objective to the point, crisp news. Thank you very much, Gopalanji. Sorry, thank you very much, Delhi R. Raj Gopalanji, also known as AKA Scoop Raja. Namaskaram, sir. See you again very soon. Thank you, thank you. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar.